Once again, the Supreme Court packed to hear the Prime Minister accused of acting unlawfully in proroguing or suspending Parliament. A previous Conservative Prime Minister, Sir John Major, was not there, but he is so incensed by Boris Johnson's actions that he successfully applied to have his lawyer join in the case. Sir John says the inescapable inference to be drawn is that the prorogation is to prevent Parliament from exercising its right to disagree with the government and to legislate as it sees fit. The Prime Minister was on manoeuvres today, in this case on Salisbury Plain. Well, meanwhile, at the court, his team submitted papers that suggested even if he lost the case, he might prorogue Parliament again. One of the judges did not sound reassured. Am I right in understanding that no undertaking is being um, offered? I uh, indicated to the court in opening uh, that the Prime Minister uh, would take all necessary steps uh, to address any decision of the court that determined that the advice was unlawful. That sounds like something which really ought to go without saying. Exactly so. Lawyers taking on the government made it clear they believed if the court declared in their favour, no time should be lost. We would expect, in the light of a declaration, that the Prime Minister will ensure that Parliament resumes as soon as possible next week. It was left to the President of the court to bring the three-day hearing to a close. But we also know that this case must be resolved as quickly as possible and we hope to be able to publish our decision early next week. We don't have long to wait to find out if the Prime Minister broke the law.